Okay, right here is a 1954 page 721 walking drag line. Following the success of Page Engineering's 600 series walking drag lines, which were first introduced in 1935, Page began to upgrade its walking drag lines to the newer 700 series, the first of which was introduced in 1954, which was the model 721, which is what you're looking at right here. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this machine. On the back of the machine's house, you can see where the two sliding doors are located, which will slide open to allow air circulation back by the engine when it's running to help keep it cool. All of the walking drag lines produced by Page Engineering utilized a walking spud on each side of the machine to carry the shoes, which you can see right here. This is the spud. A lot of guys will often refer to this as the arm. However, the correct term for this is the spud. And how this mechanism works is very simple. The spud is loosely centered to a crank gear on the end of the walking shaft via the lower spud roller bearing, which is mounted inside of a slot, which you can see right here. This connects to the walking shaft. The crank also connects to a hanger that carries the weight of the machine during each step. The top end of the spud is guided by the upper spud roller bearing, which is also mounted inside of a slot, which you can see right up top there. When this machine is engaged into the tram mode, the walking shaft will rotate, forcing both spuds to push both shoes down onto the ground, tip the back of this drag line up, and slide the entire machine backward. Right here at one time is where the manufacturer's plate would have been tack welded, but as you can see, that has long since been removed. Right here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on this machine. And from underneath here you can get a good view looking at the tub on this drag line. And you can see all the individual rollers which will swing the drag line left or right when it's running. When compared to the older 600 series, the new Page 700 series walking drag lines featured a more robust and heavy duty frame to help resist stress cracking. Right here, you can see where the drag rope runs out through the fair lead. 
The whole purpose of a fair lead on one of these drag lines is to keep the drag rope steady and prevent it from fishtailing back and forth when the bucket is being casted out or pulled in to prevent the rope from literally tearing the side of the house of this machine apart. Now, let's go up inside the 721. Okay, here we are inside. The 721 utilized an electric swing system, and in the front right here, you can see the two swing motors, which will swing this machine left or right when it's running. Directly behind me, you can see the hoist drum, and behind it, the drag drum. If you look right here on the floor, you can see the walking shaft, which connects to the cranking gear. And when engaged, this will rotate to operate both of the spuds, which in turn will push both shoes down on the ground and walk this machine. Right back here, you can see the big diesel engine that powers this drag line. This is one of the features that made these old Page drag lines so unique. The fact that Page Engineering designed and built their own diesel engines specifically for their walking drag lines. Let's talk a little bit about how this engine works. All Page diesel engines were designed as either an inline or horizontal V-type in configurations of either a V6, V8, or a V10. This particular page engine that you're looking at right here that powers the 721 is a horizontal V6. Each of the big cylinders on this engine have a bore of 11 inches and are designed to run at a constant 450 RPM. The engine receives its fuel from two 500-gallon diesel fuel tanks mounted below the diesel engine. Let's go up and check out the operator's cab. Here you can get a good overview of the operator station on the 721. You can see the two foot pedals on the floor and all the hand levers and controls that would work all the digging functions on this machine. And from here, you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 721. Right here, you can see the unique page-designed arcless bucket, which is another design feature that would become a signature of page engineering. The benefits to this design were, without the front arc, the bucket becomes lighter thus allowing for a larger bucket capacity and also permits for easier filling and discharging of big rocks which occasionally can get caught under the arc of other dragline buckets. The 721 is rated at 7 cubic yards. Right here you can see the drag rope which will cast the bucket out and pull it back in And here you can see the hoist rope, which will pick the bucket up and lower it back down. This 721 
is equipped with a 125 foot boom, which you can see right here. The 721 turned out to be a good seller for Page, with a total of 21 units being built and sold before this model was discontinued in 1970. But there she is, a 1954 Page 721 walking dragline.